This object is floating in the air. That's what looks amazing. But how to work it? Hold on and watch the video. This is Halbert sensor. Why do you need this Halbert sensor here? How to work it actually? Here is a small circuit for this Halbert sensor. See, here the main interesting part. When I bring this magnet to this sensor, I get a digital binary value. South means 0, North means 1. This is the sensor worked. And exactly the sensor I was looking for. Now you might be thinking, I don't understand anything about how the floating process actually work. So that the reason I have to make a electromagnet. So let's build up. Here I am using 27WAG copper wire which you need to twist 300 times to this 3D printed shell. A steel file you will find in my website. Now if I select my power supply of 8 volt and connect it to this copper coil and uh, I can see this copper coil become an artificial magnet. This means that controlling the magnet is completely in my hand grip. Now try to understand very well, if I bring this new damp magnet near this electromagnet, I get attached immediately by its attraction. If I reverse the current flow, I can see the magnet tip react in reverse. But I need the first process here. My plan is that whenever the new damp magnet is about to fall down, just then my electromagnet will be active and pull it again. Whenever pulled, the position of neutron magnet will change, result in the electromagnet become inactive again. And this process goes on and on and on and and on. And as a result, we can see the floating scenes. This will be possible only for this Hall effect sensor. But who will control all this and how will it be controlled? Okay, no problem. For that, I have made a roughly diagram here. Let's try to understand it. This is Hall effect sensor and it gives the binary value 1 and 0, as I told you earlier. I have pulled up the output pin of this resistor with 10k resistor and connect a capacitor to the ground so that I can store the value for a certain period of time. On the other hand, you can see here I used an op-amp to compare the value of the sensor. I added a voltage divider to this non-inverting input so that I can get a fixed voltage and compare the sensor voltage with this volt. Whenever it equal value, then our output will be high. But the output voltage of this op-amp is not enough to active a MOSFET properly, so I made a push-pull circuit with an PNPN and PNB transistor. Even here you can see two register here. These two register function is to pull up and pull down those transistor. Now this transistor voltage is amplitude enough to active this MOSFET. This time this MOSFET can give a high current for our electromagnet. Here you can see this is a flyback diode, whose function is to prevent the electromagnet spy current from destroy everything. Hope you can understand everything correctly. Now I will gather all the part and try to make them into a copper dot board. I have used SMD MOSFET here but you can also use deep MOSFET if you want. Anyway so far I need to make a structure to see if everything is working properly according to my plan. In which I can fit everything properly. So let's build it. I will take a wooden frame to fit everything properly. Next I will use a drill to attach this PCB board with a screw. For the rest of framing, I had already cut the outer part from this 3D printed shell. This is my main structure. Here are the another pieces of wood I will use to properly hang the electromagnet. And I believe the electromagnet is in the correct parallel. Now I will connect the electromagnet wire to this board. You may need to sweep the wire after testing. Next I will stick the Halifax sensor into the 3D printed shell so that the sensor can work properly. After then the wire of the sensor should be connected to this board, definitely. Next I will attach the 3D printed shell to the face of this electromagnet so that it can sense properly. For checking purpose, this power cable I will connect it to this device. Now bring the neodymium magnet into the front of this sensor. Hey, this magnet is floating in the air. See it working pretty well as I had planned. After realizing everything is working properly so far, I will attach two LED stick here to make thing look nicer. Then I did a little more modification and decoration to make the thing different. Hope you understand. It look quite beautiful, right? And one more thing. This whole process is consuming just 2.5 watt. I think this is significantly efficient. You can build it if you want and all the information about it you can get in my website and all the file are there. This might be a great project for your school. So this is for today. Hope you like this video.